Earlier, I mentioned that I'm taking a class which uses Python. And unfortunately, it's very difficult to debug in the online environment that the class provides. So I'm going to demonstrate how to install Python on a Debian system. In fact, um, most Debian systems come with Python, and you just make sure that it has a which Python and my guess is this would be some kind of a 2.6 Python and which Python 3.1 okay I'm going to just check to see user bin pi okay there is python and python 2.6 i'm going to i don't know that python what version it is uh, let me see Okay, that's 2.66 again. So I'm going to now, um, actually that's a symbolic, that's right, that's a symbolic link to this, my guess is. So, get, get update. And um, of course I need to be supered before I can do that. I have mentioned only stay as a super user for minimum length of time. Uh, get update. Okay, so I'm getting all the latest package list at this moment. I'm not doing anything other than just getting the list of all the latest packages. Apt get install Python 3. Point one, yes. So here I'm installing the Python three point one and um, okay, so let's see. Which Python? Oops, three point one, and there it is. Okay, and I'm exiting from root back to my normal user. Now I'm going to install. Eclipse through the software administration, software center, developer tools, Eclipse. Eclipse. And it asks me to, again, it, underneath, this is doing apt gets too, but it's a simpler way of doing everything. By the way, at this moment, there is no developer. Once the Eclipse is actually installed, we will get the developer in there. Do I need anything else? I think Eclipse can get whatever it needs anyway. So once Eclipse is installed at that stage, I can go into Eclipse and bring in anything else that I need or I want. I'm going to put it on pause. Okay, we have actually installed it. So let's make sure it is actually there. I'm going to start Eclipse. Eclipse 
is written in Java as far as I remember and of course it is one of the best IDEs for doing Java but it is useful for developing all sorts of other languages see it comes at this moment under the Java perspective so the first thing I do is in order to run Python with it we need PyDevs so is it help install new software I'm going to add a new site pydev.org updates and I'm going to ask it to install pydev I don't need to install pydev for mylan because I'm not using mylan so unless you're using mylan you don't need to say anything to that okay pyda for eclipse and I do accept it and I say finish and it's going to take a little while I can't remember how long it takes it yes I do and now it's going to ask me to restart so I am going to get out of it and go back in there and I'm going to say use this as default if you notice we have Java perspective and set the preferences I will go to PyDev and I will select the And I'm going to go to user in okay. And okay. And I'm going to add another one Python two point six point six. user bin and this time we select the python 2.6 this is because the class I'm taking uses 2.6 even though I prefer using the Python 3 and above okay 
Then tell me to. Oh, let me change the perspective now. Okay, and the Java perspective is still there, but I want to be in PyDub. New PyDub project test. I'm going to leave this at 2.6 and select this and finish. And I will under the And hello, Python. By the way, Python is named after Monty Python, not after OSA oh, before launching. And here it is. So I showed you how to install Eclipse and how to make sure that you do have Python 3.1 and then using PyDev you can program 3.1. 